Hey everyone, hope you all had a great weekend. Thanks for joining me on October 31st. Happy Halloween everyone. And as always, we are not financial advisors and everything you see on here is for educational purposes only. All right, let's get started with, I guess we can do the dollar first. Um, it's pushing up back up nicely. Uh, we came down, it looked like, you know, we had a good chance to maybe start pushing back down because it did break below. Um, it's having a really nice bounce right now because Bitcoin, you know, we knew we were going to drop like the next couple of days. So it's helping it push back up. Now, what's interesting is, and I mentioned, I did a video a while, a while back. That I was like, you know what? There is a pattern that technically shows it would go up if it follows it. But the fact that we have that 106, I feel like it should technically drop back down because it pushed up so much from it. So there's two keys, to, two key things we need to pay attention to. One would be this. If this comes all the way back up and gets near this, there's a really good chance that this pattern now is actually locked in and we're going to head back up. Then it'll come back down and it'll come back up. And this is where technically you would want to get into the dollar because it is going to push upward. And this would make sense because towards the end of the year, the market does dump because uh, the crypto market does always dump. Everybody takes their profits and everything like that. So maybe, I don't know how the dollar will react to that. You know, people do cash out and they buy, so they're using the dollar. So maybe it does follow this pattern and doesn't drop until to the 109 until later on, when, you know, when the crypto market does recover. So this is the possible uh, possible possibility. Um, another one would be if actually we drop now, if we were to drop downward where we break this upward pattern, then it's like I'll feel confident, like all right, cool, it's gonna drop back down to the 106. And this will tell me that the crypto market is going to continue pushing or vice versa the crypto market will let me know if this is going to drop because technically following bitcoin has been a lot better than trying to follow the dollar so with bitcoin and since our last free update you know few free updates i've been talking about how you know since back here you know it's like hey you know we need to do something like oh, this is 12 hours we gotta switch back to daily and daily still applies for this thing. Like I could still see it kind of push back down. So it's not too much of a difference. Um, on the daily, it is on Bitcoin though. But <laughs> so we knew we had to, you know, come back up to do this. And we knew all these weird pumps were not it. So we did that. We came down. We knew it would go sideways and then slowly start heading up. So we went sideways and now we're slowly heading up. So it's actually right on, right on par with the, the pattern. And you might be able to hear my dog in the background eating. I gave him food like an hour ago and he just now decides to start eating when I'm making this video. <laughs> but, all right, so just kind of, I want to touch up on that. Like, hey, look, on the long term, like it's been playing out pretty well for the last, you know, couple weeks. So now we went up, you know, we mentioned how we could go sideways and drop a little bit. We actually went up, dropped. And technically right now though, we should be, well, let me remove this. So and I'm going to remove this stuff too. So we went up, hit a strong reversal fib. So we knew up here we were going to drop again. Uh, we knocked out this target here, the 21. So that was a white fib that we did a, a while back. So we did that. We dropped. We hit a reversal fib. This is where it gets pretty interesting. All right. So we knew we were going to head up. We head up. We actually went up fat, higher than I thought we would. But then we had like one little weekday. And then we dropped a little bit lower. And then we go back up. So... We dropped, you know, well, we had, sorry, we had like one little week day here. We dropped and then went back up. Now we're supposed to kind of go like sideways downward for like three days, maybe five. And it went from three to five, right? And that's what we're kind of at right now. Do we drop another two more days and we go back up? Or right now we are on a strong reversal fib at uh, 20,438. So, if we close green here, we have another green candle up. But even then, it's you know, it does show well. It does show kind of a downward movement, a decent enough. But again, it doesn't follow it a hundred percent, so it might actually start working on doing this candle. If this holds, this could actually probably push back up, and it'll come all the way up around like twenty-one two hundred area, and then it'll drop a little bit. You know, we'll do this, then I'll drop a little bit and then slowly work our way up. Oh. <laughs> and then I have another nice little pump. 
and then kind of go sideways for a little bit. And this second pump is technically where we want to start looking into getting out, right? Because after the pattern, it starts to drop all the way back down. And there's a lot of coins that do have open targets where we do have to drop back down. So this this uh, drop back here makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna remove this stuff. I always forget to just go back, <laughs> hit the back one. And if we move this down here, you can kind of see how it matches up pretty well, right? It's following it itself pretty good. Obviously never patch it, follows it perfectly. It's not gonna go up this day and do that. You know, it's gonna be close enough. So, you know, this is where we could drop a little bit more or just continue to go sideways and then start pushing back up. So this would be like the six. So for the next couple of days, we should go overall. It's like a little down sideways kind of movement unless the pattern starts to play out a little faster. Cause remember this pump here was a lot bigger, right? We knew it was gonna go like upward like this, which we did. And a nice little pump here. So, you know, it could drop a little more or it can just go sideways, but we know overall, like it's gonna go sideways, right? Overall, this is just gonna go like sideways like this. And then it's gonna start heading back up. So I'll leave that there. So we're, I wouldn't say halfway. I think halfway would be on the next push. Then we start pushing back up and then towards like the end of uh, November, we'll kind of like start dropping a little bit and come back up a little bit sideways. Like this is where, you know, you might want to start like getting out. Even if it pushes up a little bit, like we have to, it shows that we would have to come back down and it just matches up perfectly with the open target that we have. So we now have an, a second arrow target at 19157. And we've, as I've mentioned before, this is a count target. This is a fib target. This doesn't always fail. These have a really, really, really low chance of not like failing. Like this, this shows that, hey, we're gonna drop. And this on the longer term kind of makes sense, right? You know, we've talked about like on the BLX where, um, oh, this one, which is a weekly. You know, we've been waiting, and here's the cool part about it. We've been waiting to touch this bottom, right? Remember since back here, I've been saying like, look, I really see us dropping to this, you know, this green line, because it's done it a bunch of times. And this is another reason why, you know, like I've been dollar cost averaging. And I'll, I'll point another interesting fact on that. Because this green line, we touched it here. We keep going back. We didn't touch it at all. We were kind of bullish this year, but then we touched it here a few times. And then, let's see. So this is how like I knew we were gonna come down to this green line. And now we're holding, and this is gonna print uh, a big green candle once it fails. Remember, this is things always delayed. Um, in a day or two, you're gonna see this turn into like a big green candle. And you're gonna be like, oh look, that's a really good bounce off that bottom. And then all of a sudden you're gonna be like, oh, you know what? I think this was the bottom because to me this is the bottom right when they were staying over here with the bottom technically I think it, it was if you look at it in the regular chat but on this um, brand new coin for me this was the bottom which was 17,962 which is not like the bottom of like you know 17,600 but my bottom was following this pattern here and now we touched the green line and now we're bouncing back up to it so you know, we go back to the regular, regular chart. Clearly this is lower than that, but it's still following this. And if I delete this bottom one, look how perfectly, let me move this back up. Look how perfectly this line right here dropped exactly to that, that long trend line, right? This is where sometimes like be, uh, for those who are not on the Discord, it actually, you know, it's worth being in it, even though I know I charge a fee and everything, but like when this drop, big drop happened, I, I would, once again, we were calm. We're like, hey, you know what? This is just like a little like fake out watch. Once it's done dropping, everyone's gonna jump right back in. It's gonna pump right back up. So, and this was also um, a strong reversal fib. So we, we had a lot of like signs saying, hey, this is the bottom and it's gonna push all the way back up. So technically this last drop was the bottom before they started pushing it back up. So, that was on my end i believe that like that was a really good uh good hit on that one because it's not like oh we didn't panic it's like oh we shouldn't buy no more we shouldn't buy no more like it's gonna keep going lower because like as soon as this thing happened 
I already saw my my whole like you know other people like I watch on TikTok or like um, YouTube and stuff. They're all and most of them I don't even pay attention. I can just tell by their like thumbnail. Oh, you know what? This could be wrong. It's gonna dump. Even like Crypto University was like, oh well, like here's some other like lower possibilities. Like they should have just stuck to like, hey, this is the bottom, and that's it. Like you know, felt like kind of like strong with that. Kind of like how I'm like, you know what? No, like I feel like we're gonna have to keep doing this. We have to keep doing this. I won't change my you know path based on what the market is doing right like oh we're dropping oh you know what oh we're bearish we're bearish oh you know what we're going up because for the longest time since what back here i mentioned like hey i see us going up like i see us going up 21 i see us going up we went up but then i saw like okay we're gonna go up but we're gonna go down first and then we're gonna go sideways for a while and then start heading up when we came down we went sideways for a while going up see like I mean, it's like, because I don't want to, like, change my thing too much. Because I'm pretty sure I'm already confusing as it is, right, to follow me. And another reason why, you know, in the Discord or even on YouTube, you can always leave a comment be like, hey, look, can you, like, explain a little bit more detail? Because sometimes I don't explain it all the way there. But I don't want to go too far into this and make a huge long video on Mondays like I usually do. But here's a, a cool little fact, though. Up here, Yinchi did mention... Oh, Yinchi was told by her guide to like, hey, you know, it's okay to buy now. Like, you can buy your coins now. And it was very pumped. And I'm like, huh, that's kind of weird to like buy like on a pump. But you know what? I'm going to have faith in her. And I mentioned like, hey, look, <coughs> there's a few coins that I wanted to fill my bag, right? Like, for example, if I wanted 10,000 XRP and I had 8,000, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to buy the, the other 2,000 and just be done with it. And I don't have to worry about that, right? So we started, we started to dollar cost average in here. And ever since that, we've been buying the dip. Every dip we've been buying. So we look back, because at first I was like, damn, like we our our first initial buy was like kind of high. But if you look back, it's like dude, like most of our DCA has been at the bottom, and especially if we start heading up, come back down, start heading back up, like that's not a bad place to you know a DCA. In. So going back to what I mentioned for a while. Everybody should be dollar cost averaging into the coin. Don't be waiting for this super crazy low target that this psychic mentioned and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's good to use their information, you know, to help you make a good judgment. But at the same time, you don't want to be 100% woo woo. And especially like if the market drops, they give these like really low targets. And the market pumps and they give you these high targets. And the market drops back again and they give you another low target. It's like you want to stick with something that's going to like move you forward with, right? You don't want to like. You don't want to follow, and it doesn't, it doesn't apply to psychic either. Like, the same thing goes for, like, some, you know, YouTubers that love to use clickbait to, you know, to lure people in. It's like, oh, it's dropped. Oh, you know what? Let me, let me make, a, like, a big burst, like, target. Just, a lot of times they do it just so you can come and watch their videos, right? And they get paid. That's why, for me, I don't do any, like, thumbnails or nothing like that. I just put, hey, market update. That's it. You know, I'll put my ads towards the end. Every now and then, like, it might slip in to the regular video, but... I don't want to talk too much about that, but so far Bitcoin's going right on track. I can see us, you know, kind of drop a little bit or go sideways and then start heading back up. Here's what gets interesting. Um, XRP came down, hit a week, uh, not a week, but a white fib. So this technically meant, represents that, hey, it's going to do a temporary reversal back up and then drop back down. So it will have to drop below 0.4485. So it's following the pattern. It's a little bit off right now. Like we knew we were going to go up. Come down, go back up, and then do another U before it takes off. We're doing the U, but right now we're here. Like, we need to, like, push back up. And obviously, if Bitcoin goes sideways or goes up, the alt could benefit from it. So we need it to push back up so we can see if it does the big breakout before dumping all the way back down. And, again, Bitcoin has this drop. XRP has the drop. I'm sure other coins, um, if I look further into the pattern, it shows a drop. So this could be, like, towards the end of the year. So... We do want to make sure we take our profits on specific coins that we know are going to drop. Um, XRP is one I'm holding that I'm not going to drop. I'm just going to hold it until at least it's over a year. A lot of my coins I'm going to hold until it's over a year uh, to take like profits. But the ones I will take profits on are Shiba and Luna. And we'll touch up on those shortly. But for right now, it's on the white face. So it does say it's going to, if we close um, above 44.85, then it's going to show it's going to, it's going to head back up. And this white fib could be hit when it drops back down. We don't want it to drop back sooner and break out of this. Um, Algo 
came down, hit a strong reversal fib, so we knew this could be a bottom. Went up, it's now on a, um, a good reversal fib, so the dark blue is not as great, but good enough. Uh, it's at 0.8. At, sorry, 0.3824. So if we don't get above that, it's going to drop back down. And right now, it's, it's dropped a lot. Even though it has pumped a good amount. We still have a target, a fifth target at 0.2865. Again, that could be when we drop back down. You know, H bar came down, hit a strong reversal fib. Orange went up, hit another strong reversal fib. So it's already doing its retracement. So right now. Um, so... This signals it could be. I will have to wait for this one to actually close before I can actually find out which way it's going. But as far as we know, XRP says up, algo. It's a little off, but like so, it's like a kind of like an in between. Um, we know with Matic, we went up, hit a strong reversal fib. We'll remove that. We came down. We're on a weak reversal fib now. But again, if the whole market is on these fibs and it does signal, we're gonna head back up. You know, XRP, uh, BTC. Uh, hint we could go back up so does XRP and now Maddox also hinting we're on a weak reversal fib at 0 0.08962 so if we don't get below that it's going to uh, print a green candle tomorrow uh, when we look at rose it's a little bit off but it is on a strong reversal fib it's actually retesting it twice um, at 0 0.06056 so if we hold here it should push back up again tomorrow uh, Shiba looking for nice right here and I hope everybody saw the post I did. Um, I post. I didn't post it in my crypto chat. I post. I mean, in my daily play, I posted it in crypto chat where someone kept asking me like, "Hey, look, like, is it a good time to get out? Good time to get out?" And I did mention like, "Look, technically, right now is a good time to get out." Um, if you want to do that, I stayed in because I'm gonna just ride this whole sideways and push up. But if you did get out, you would have got out around up here, um, fourteen hundred area, and. I would wait either if you bought in yesterday perfect you saved about like 15 to 20 percent well you gained more like 15 20 percent more uh shiba if you're still out wait for it to come back down again if you're still in it's okay it's gonna go sideways and then have a big old pump you know based off the pattern so you know don't be afraid like oh i got out i shouldn't have got out and you just have to hold a little bit longer and it'll come back up delete these down here and she was one that I do plan to, you know, take profit in if it does this big old play here. You know, because again, I don't want to write it all the way back down. Especially because this probably will drop all the way back down. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then Luna is the other one that I want to do where it, again, if it does this big old play, I'm definitely cashing out. Now with Luna, I don't know if I'm going to get back in. With Shiba, I don't know if I'm going to get back in back into shiba because i might use that money to like put it into other coins that i know probably be more beneficial long term if shiba dumps dramatically then i'll probably get back in but if let's say and this applies for um luna too like if it only drops back down to here i'm not gonna get back into luna it's a meme coin to me like i, I don't see it doing too crazy let's say this goes up and then you know we get out near the top and it comes all the way back down i'll buy again but if it only comes down to here I'm probably not gonna buy Luna no more. I mean Shiba, because again, these are just little meme coins to me, and I want. Because I'd rather. It, here's the thing, if it's just a meme coin, it's popular, it's hyped. I'd rather get out now, and instead of getting back into Shiba, I'm gonna wait to see what the next cool popular thing is. There's gonna be a new Shiba. I guarantee you. There's always a new coin, right? The key thing is to find the next like Solana, Near, uh, Avalanche. Those ones where. They just kept going up and up and up, whether it failed a bull market or like, you know, sideways market. Obviously, a bear market, everybody dumps back down, but we'll see about that. So, IOTech, you know, went up, still not, it still hasn't hit any reversal fibs. We still have an open target at 0 0.0319, and this is the second arrow, so I see it coming back up there. So, it should slowly push up and knock that out. When we look at Adam, Adam's on a strong reversal fib at 1440. So if we close here, it does signal it's going to drop back down. On top of that, it has to do two arrows down. So Adam's looking pretty bearish to me right now. Near uh, went up, it's closed on a strong reversal fib, but it's still kind of doing a sideways candle right now. It, you know, this is technically like a little retest up. If it doesn't break above that, it should start pushing back down. Um, Avalanche on a weak reversal fib at 1989. So if we don't break above that, again, it'll drop back down. 
but it's a weak fib, so they can easily come back down. Uh, Phantom is not on any reversal fib, so I can still see it push up. And since it pushed down, hit a strong reversal fib, it pushed up nicely. These, these coins are kind of like reminding you, like, hey, don't forget about us. Like, we're still great coins. And here's an, an interesting one. For the longest time now, I think, for, especially for like the last two Monday updates, I've kept hinting, like, hey, you know, XRP needs to come back to the top of this trend line, needs to come back up, you know, and it kept going up, up, even dropped down, gave us that fake out, and finally went up, even broke above the top trend line. So it's looking good. It's not on any reversal fibs yet, so Ethereum could continue to go back up. Uh, Data did really well. So this is what gets interesting. It is on a white fib. So, you know, it's done its retracement. So it's a temporary reversal. So data needs to come back up $1.25. Come back up to $1.25. Um, Zill closed on a strong reversal fit, but it's now kind of doing its like side, little weak sideways. Um, this could come back down and turn into red. The market could still drop a little bit more. But if I don't get a red candle, I won't see, you know, when it can reverse back up. So I have to wait for that. This one's a little interesting. This is one that you know, which we would have saw coming. Um, the pattern didn't. I didn't see any patterns for this telling us it could pump. Um, I don't have too much faith in this pattern here, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Uh, it went up higher than you know we thought earlier because like, hey, we need to do something like this, and it kind of felt like it was starting to, but then it pumped. But obviously, these will eventually tire out because again, the market overall is not bullish. So these are just like the last people who are like, you know waiting for things to pump so we want to take a little sideways do a little flag pattern then it's going to pump again do another flag pattern then it's going to pump again and then eventually start working its way down but it's not going to drop down that much i think it only drops a little bit more but the reason i added this is because i want people to understand like hey these things do drop back down you know take your profits well oh it's just a habit of that um Overall, technically, we're at the bottom. You should have technically taken it to profit. You might as well just start adding. But you don't buy while it's pumping. You buy while it's coming back down. Let's just say that instead. I don't want people to like to take profit and it's like, but we're at the bottom, you know? It would have to be like very, very beneficial for you. Like it would have to jump all the way back down for it to be, you know, good. Because you take profit, now you got a tax event. And when you buy back in, you're not going to have as much as you did before because you got to put some aside. But that's another story. Um, oops. So with Solana, it is in a strong reversal fib at 34.37. So if we close here, it's going to do... Um, normally it would do a red candle, but based on what I'm seeing, everybody who's hit a fib, they're doing kind of like a little like sideways green candle. Kind of like here, right? So instead of doing the red, it's doing a little green one. Then maybe it does the red. Um, but based on what I'm seeing with like... <coughs> all these coins um dots on the strong reversal fib at 6.83 so it can reverse here so based on what i see like overall everybody like the whole thing um am i really at 23 minutes oh damn i made this way too long um i'll make it fast so overall you know bitcoin's now coming back down you know earlier this was uh green it's coming back down so we need to break below its previous low let me put the magnet. So we need to drop below this because this is where the reversal fib is at before I deleted it by accident, which is 20, uh, so 20,427. So if we drop below that, because right now half of the alts are like on some reversal fibs that say up, the other half say down. So these are the days where it's kind of like, ah, oh, well, you know, it's going to be up to Bitcoin, but we need to see where Bitcoin closes because if it closes on a strong reversal fib, then we go up tomorrow. If Bitcoin drops below it, then we drop tomorrow. Based on the pattern, it should technically drop. Like, we need to drop at least one more time, I think. Yeah, because it needs to be, like, close to this. Like, it'll drop one more time because this is a little bit higher. Whoops. This is a little bit higher than, like, the previous one. So, it might be, like, a little another, like, a weak little red candle. We're, nothing too, too crazy. But I feel like the market should technically drop and we should break below this Russell Fib on Bitcoin. Because this is going to lead everybody else. If Bitcoin stays above 20,427, then it's going to push back up. If it drops below it, then the rest of the market is going to drop back down tomorrow. So we'll end it there because I don't want to make the, the video too long. It's already way, way too long. Um, 
And because I made it too long, I'm not even going to include the ads that I usually do at, at the end of the video. It's just, there's really no point. Because I don't even know if anybody's going to be watching it all the way to this exact point. You know, they might have heard the, the coins that they usually listen to and then that's it. Like, alright, cool, I don't care. I already pretty much mentioned everything about that. I don't want to gibber gibberish on too much. So, I will see everybody tomorrow or in the Discord.